Jehovah's Witnesses, are they a cult or ministers of God? Most people, when they hear the term cult, they think of David Koresh and the Burning Branch Davidian Compound at Waco, Texas. Others think of the Moonies and their interesting white robes. Some of us will cite Jim Jones, the rock star preacher at, and the Jonestown Massacre. Of course, most of us will cite the KKK and their members of hate. We also have the Heaven's Gate people that committed suicide under Marshall Applewhite. But there's more to a cult than just this. Here are a few definitions of the word cult from the Wikipedia website. I've even included some of my own definitions and I've hired some of my movie star friends to narrate these definitions for me. A cult doesn't usually encourage a full investigation of the pros and cons of its teachings. A cult often has its own version of the Bible to fit its own dogma or, inspired, continuations in their publications. A cult often has prophecies only its members are alert to. A cult usually has revisions of truth to keep their members on the inside scoop. This practice shows that God is directing and using them. Members of a cult often rely on its leaders to tell them what the Bible really says. Cult members often proclaim that non-members couldn't possibly know the doctrine slash teachings better than themselves, regardless of one's research. Members of a cult generally throw out straw man arguments to people that disagree with them for the purpose of muddying the waters and path away from the real subject at hand. A cult generally excommunicates and shuns its members that start to disagree with its teachings even when presented with scripture evidence. Cult members often, when shown empirical evidence against their doctrines, run from public debate while feeling justified for washing their hands clean of Satan's sheriff's or agents. Cults usually demonize ex-members as a smear campaign to discredit their knowledge, experience, and research. Cult members generally play the martyr the persecuted role when they can't defend their beliefs in a debate even if they started it. Cults usually employ circular reasoning. Like what, Maria? Well, these examples. Hey, let's pause and look at this one. You guys, I'm not sure what to make of this chart, but I know it must be wrong, somehow, right? Cults often use time frame to excite its members to just do more, based on a workspace system. You'll be much happier that way, so they say. Turn in your time slip, please. From the Watchtower website, we see an article about secret groups, and they tell us that not all groups are secret to the same degree. They reference the Encyclopedia Britannica, and it says, explains that by the use of special names, ordeals, or revelations, members of the top ranks manage to set themselves apart thereby stimulating the lower ranks to the effort necessary to reach the exalted degrees. In Titus 3, 10 and 11, it says, As for a man that promotes a sect, reject him after a first and a second admonition, knowing that such a man has been turned out of the way and is sinning, he being self-condemned. Hey, now wait. Aren't Jehovah's Witnesses a sect from the Bible students? That were a sect from the Adventists? That were a sect from the Millerites? Huh? Yeah, I know I read that somewhere. Well, I think I did. I guess I'll have to re-research that one. Question. Is it possible that there are people that have came out of the society or others that never were a Jehovah's Witness? Is it possible for them to label them as a cult? Now, some will say that well, they call them a cult just because they don't know about the Jehovah's Witnesses. Are they a cult? Well, I will leave that up to you. That's your decision.